player in the champion's position, so one of them can write a very big check. And they're going to do it on the only show where all you need to win is your opinion. It's Majority, Majority Rules. Rules. Summers. And I'm Arthel Neville. These very outspoken folks were chosen to play our game because they've shown that they have strong opinions and the ability to express them. So for every question, we'll get two opinions. Then we'll have a vote, and the person who gets more votes will make it to the stage for round two, and one lucky player will have a chance to win almost... $20,000. Not bad. And Mark... Someone who knows about that is the player at the champion's position right now, Mr. Curtis Hawkins. How are you, Curtis? Curtis, how are you doing today? All right, Curtis is waiting for three challengers to play against. So you think we should find them now? Or Good try idea. To? Get ready to hit those jump-in buttons. Here's our first question. By the way, I love the way your hair looks today. Oh, thanks, Mark. What baseball superstar, past or present, generates the most action and excitement? Looking for the first right flashing over here, Scott, light. Stand up, Scott. Who would that person be? Oh, let's see that reaction. Babe Ruth is the one baseball superstar who still, to this day, generates excitement and applause from everyone you talk to. Thank you, Scott. All right. I got excited. Is there someone else in the audience who thinks he or she may have a better answer? Looking for another flashing light. Where is it? Oh, here. Whoa. Hey. Hey, Jason. All righty, Jason. I'm going to come on over here. Excuse me. What do you say, Jason? I think it's uh, Joe DiMaggio, because his life outside the baseball arena was also very exciting. And I think he encouraged a lot of other sectors of life that wouldn't be interested in baseball to watch. All the Maryland fans and, and All coffee right. drinkers. Thank you, Jason. So is it Scott and Babe Ruth? Or is it Jason and Joe DiMaggio? Audience, please vote right now. 86% think it's Babe Ruth. Babe. $500 to sitting on that podium, and you're definitely in the round two. All right, our next question. For the rest of your life, you have to live in another country and not the United States. What is the country that will make your life most enjoyable? Looking for a flashing this light. This lady right over here. Hi, Janie. How are you? Great. What country would that be? I'd like to live in Italy near a field of sunflowers 12 feet tall where all of the men and women are beautiful and dark and you can eat Italian food every single day and speak that romantic language. I have the picture in my mind, Janie. That's nice. Very nice. Okay. okay. Is there someone else who thinks he or she has a better answer? Let me see. Oh. <laughs> all right, Mignon, what do you say? The Bahamas. Because. because there's a lot of sexy people out there, and I would just love to live out there to be on the waters and the beaches and drinking the Bahama Mamas. If you haven't had a Bahama Mama, you haven't lived. <laughs> so All is right. it Janie and Italy? Or is it Mignon in the Bahamas? Please vote right now. It's pretty close, Mark. 59% of the people said they're going to Italy. <laughs> Janie, you got $500 waiting for you. You're definitely playing in round two. <laughs> we have one more question to fill that fourth spot. Here it is. Who is the most conceited actor in the universe? <laughs> oh, I got a flashing light right here with you, Jeff. Who do you say? Val Kilmer. Because he's always, he's always fixing himself up when he, the camera's on him, and he's always demanding money for all these films that he isn't worth. He isn't worth any of that amount. All right. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Question, who's the most conceited actor in the universe? Who thinks they have a better answer? And, oh, Pierce, James. James. Hi, James. Yeah. Who is that person? I'm going to have to go with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Every time he's on a talk show, he wants to kick over somebody's head. He's always asking to show his chest. He wants to show people his butt. The boy got serious van vanity problems. Thank you, James. Very All nice. Right. Is it going to be Jeff's answer of Val Kilmer? Or is it James and Jean-Claude Van Damme? Vote right now. I love saying that. 69% of you say... John Cruz! Yeah. Right on down there, James! James. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mark, they're all yours. Thanks, Art. We have four players, each holding $500. From now on, each correct answer worth $100, but you're going to have to jump in to earn it incorrect. $100 is taken away, and don't forget those challenges. It gets fun, the money goes flying, and let's put those hands on those buttons and get started. A Glamour Magazine poll asked, 
How has watching TV talk shows changed Americans' thoughts about abnormal behavior? Did the majority say we have lost our sense of outrage, or TV talk shows paint a true picture of our society? Yes, it is Scott. Uh, we have lost our sense of outrage. No disagreements on that. 71% said, we have lost our sense of outrage. Nice job, Scott. $100 goes up there to you. And another question, which, <laughs> which men do more scrambling? Did our majority say the NFL quarterbacks on Sunday or Monday morning quarterbacks in Congress? Yes, Scott. The quarterbacks on Sunday. Quarterbacks on Sunday. James. I'm going to say the ones in Congress. Ones in Congress. Somebody's going to have to give $100 to somebody else. 76% felt quarterbacks in Congress. Scott, $100 goes down to James. Yeah. Yeah. James, $600 for you, and everybody else currently has $500. Which two of these four players are going to face off for a chance to win for $20,000 or thereabouts? We're going to find out when Majority Rules continues, so stay where you are. We're coming back right after this. Another fun day here on Majority Rules, talking to four contestants who've been discussing the opinions of others. Let's find out about them. Curtis, our returning champion, won about, what, $3,500 the other day, yeah, yesterday? Sure did. Good deal. What are you doing uh, since we saw you since yesterday? Oh, just enjoying my winnings, basically, or the thought of winning, and uh, just uh, calling my mom a lot. I'm from Albion, Michigan, so I'm kind of far from home. So Yeah. She yeah. was happy, I bet. Oh, huh? yeah, definitely. Good. And we have a gentleman by the name of James. What do you do for a living, sir? Um, I'm a child care worker in San Dimas. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoy working with the little kids, and... Hope I win a lot of money. Hope you win a lot of money. <laughs> Let's just move on, huh, Mark? I got it. Scott, tell me about your life. Hi there. I'm originally from Chicago, and now I own a computer consulting firm in Los Angeles. Very nice. So, uh, well, I'll talk to you later about that. I have computer problems at home. <laughs> Help you out. Janie. I'm originally from Boston. I'm a fundraiser from Marina Del Rey, California. Nice to see you here today, right. Janie. Okay. We're going to continue the round until time is up. And then the two players with the highest scores will join Arthel in the spe speaker circle for that big dollar that's running over there. Could be up to $20,000. Put those hands back on the buttons. Here's the question. What has gone on much longer than it ever should have? Did the majority say Beverly Hills 90210 or Saturday Night Live? Yes, Curtis. Saturday Night Live. All right, Janie. 90210. Well, 69% did say Beverly Hills 90210. $100 goes from Curtis to Janie. Yeah, I think those 30-year-old high school students is a bit much, don't you? When Bloomberg asks shoppers, what do you do before purchasing milk, did the majority say, move the first carton and get the one behind it, or read the expiration date? Yes, Scott. Move the first cart and get the one behind it. Uh-huh. Anybody want to challenge? Yes, Janie. Read the expiration date. 55% say challenging is a good idea. Read the expiration date. $100 goes over there to Janie. You got that. You got it. All right. We'll see those dollars fly, as I mentioned. Let's see what happens on this question when TV Guide asked, who's the best sidekick? Did the majority say Kramer on Seinfeld or Niles from Frasier? Yes, Scott, you're correct. Kramer from Seinfeld. Kramer from Seinfeld. Nobody's challenging on that one. 55, 58% said Kramer from Seinfeld. $100 goes up there to Scott, brings him up to $500. And we see that our current champ, Curtis, is in last place. Maybe that'll change when we carry on. U.S. Political Survey asked, if you were stranded on a desert island, who would you rather have keep you company? Did the majority say Rush Limbaugh or Bob Dole? Yes, Scott. Rush Limbaugh. Okay, Curtis. <laughs> Bob Dole. Bob Dole, huh? <laughs> like this is a choice, huh? 80% <laughs> said Rush Limbaugh. Oh, Curtis, oh, give it back to Scott. Oh, oh, oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> According to a Bloomberg Shoppers poll, who is more likely to peek between the pages of magazines while in the checkout lines? Is it men or is it women? Yes, Scott? It's women. It's women. And you're going to try again, Janie, and you're going to say? It's, well, man. It's got to be men, you think, huh? You've been challenging a lot today. The majority said women were more likely to peak. $100 from Janie goes over there to Scott. Thank you. $700 now for you, Scott. You've taken the lead. Which one of these American perennials is more difficult to understand? Did the majority in our poll choose baseball announcer Harry Carey or folk rock singer Bob Dylan? 
Boy, Scott, you are so fast today. <laughs> it's got to be Harry Carey. Harry Carey. And James, I'm going to say it's Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, I think, is only singing the consonants now. 61% said Bob Dylan was more confusing. $100 goes down there to James. James, you take the lead now. Okay. Excited on that one. Oh, here's that sound. It means time for one more question. The grand question worth $1,000. James, $700 and the lead. Janie, $600. Scott, you too have $600. Curtis, in the basement currently with $300. Players, your job, predict which answer will get the most votes from this Majority Rules studio audience. Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Players, are you ready? Yeah. Here is the question. Got it. For you personally, which is the most significant meaning of the phrase Independence Day? Is it the motion picture, the national holiday, or the final divorce decree? <laughs> audience, please vote right now. Players, lock in the answer. You think our majority rules audience is giving the most votes. If you are the only one to pick the big vote getter, you alone will earn $1,000. But if more than one player is correct, we'll split that $1,000. Independence Day means what to you? Motion picture, national holiday, final divorce decree. Our audience has voted. 72% of them say holiday, the national holiday. <laughs> Curtis, our returning champ, currently has $300. Did you say national holiday? You did, sir. Congratulations. A portion of that $1,000 could be in your pocket right now. How much of that portion? We'll find out right now. Scott, what did you say they would say? Holiday. Right. We now have split that $1,000 two ways. Is it a three-way split now, Janie? Did you say holiday? You did. James, it is crucial for you to say holiday to stay in this game. What did you predict they would say? You said film. And that means that Janie and Scott, you two are going to join Arthel in the okay. Speaker Circle Face-Off. Congratulations. Why don't you join her over there? I tell you, James, I thought you were there. $700 is yours. Thanks for being here. Curtis, $3,550 from yesterday, plus this money. Great champion. Thank you, sir. A round of applause for Curtis. Scott and Janie, they're both so excited. Hug each other. You got to love that. Well, guys and gal, in my hand is one more question that will determine which one of you has a chance to win almost $20,000. That was an exciting way to get here. We're going to find out something more exciting when we find out the question, their answer, and how much they're going to go for when Majority Rules continues after these messages. <laughs> players to think of an answer for this question. It is, sure, it would be great to have a perfect body and an even better face. Other than physical, what quality should a woman have if she wants to make every man her slave? And now you both came into this round with the same amount of money, and we flipped a coin, and I think, Janie, you won, so you get to choose if you'd like to go first or second. I'd like to go first. All right, ladies first. Each of you will have 15 seconds to convince our audience to vote for your answer. Good luck to both of you. Remember, it's not only what you say, it's how you say it. Come with me, Scott. Okay, the question once more. Sure, it would be great to have a perfect body and even better face other than physical. What quality should a woman have if she wants to make every man her slave? Start now. Women are expected to do so much now, run a family, work, just maintain so much. And I think that a woman, that her best quality is a quality of patience. With, with, with everything that's going on in the world, if a woman remains calm and just... All right, Jane. Your turn. Other than physical, what quality should a woman have if she wants to make every man her slave? Start now. The woman who would make me her slave is a woman with intelligence. Because if I can have a great conversation with her, then I can connect with her on a level that far surpasses anything else. You can cuddle up at night and just talk about anything and just share all sorts of ideas and thoughts and exchanges with each other. That's the woman for me. OK, Scott, <laughs> come back up here with us, Miss Janie. All right, audience, the power to send one of these players for a chance to win almost $20,000 is in your hand. So do me a favor and please vote right now for the response you think deserves to win. Will it be Janie and Limitless Patience or Scott and Intelligence? Push those buttons. All right, Mark, the votes are in and 86% said 
I'll take intelligence. Scott, yeah. you're the champion. Go, Scott. Nice job. Thanks very much, <laughs> Okay. You know what, Janie, you did a fantastic job. So we're going to give you a $500 gift certificate and the $950 you won previously in the show. So, you know what, no one walks away a loser here. Not at no, all. Not a majority And road. now, Scott. Scott, you're doing fine because we're going to give you $2,500. We're going to move over there and hopefully write a check that uh, pays you close to $20,000. So why don't we head over in this direction, okay? See you in a minute. Okay, and you guys stay right where you are because majority rules will continue in a moment. Majority rules. We're here with our champ, Mr. Scott, and Scott is going to attempt to write himself a very big check, which started when we conducted our own majority rules poll on this question. When most men reach middle age, do they usually feel a great need for more hair, more money, or more belt? Hmm. We want you to predict the outcome of the vote, Scott, by placing those answers on the big check. The percent of votes each answer gets will become the digit of those checks. So let's take a look at more belt. Hmm. No comment. If it gets 62% of the vote, it would be worth 62 cents, perhaps. Or it could be worth $62. Or it could be worth $6,200, depending on where you place it. And, Scott, if you place these items in perfect order from highest to lowest, then you'll take home that check plus a bonus of $10,000. That would be nice, Scott. That would be very sweet. We've locked in those numbers. The computer data bank has them. Step to our left and tell us. Right up. Is it belt, is it money, or is it hair? Hair. Okay. Oh. Thoughts. A lot of people like that. You gonna stick with that? Right. Stay right there. Okay, Scott, I just wanna let you know right now that one of those answers got 51% of the vote, another got 36%, and the lowest percentage was 13. The check must be $5,136.13. That's the highest possible. That's when we give you the $10,000 bonus. But remember, if it's not up there, that check is worthless. So, we have a little offer to give you. And uh, it's, uh, it's a one-time only offer, Scott, okay? <laughs> $2,500 over there in that round magically gets doubled to $5,000. Just take that check for a second. And because feel you it. can have that check and just say, forget about this. Or you can give that check back to me and go for the big dough. What do you want to do, Scott? I'm going for it. He's going for it. He's going to go for it. I'm going to take this $5,000 check back. Now, okay. This is the part where Arthel and I Make get involved. Predictions. And I would have said more hair, more money, more belt. Okay. You say more money, more hair, more belt. I agree with you. Let's hope right. that we're right. Oh, I want to give this what money away. <laughs> Show us two numbers. Ooh, well, that's that, a good that's place. That's a good start. Is more money the first place? Show us. Yeah! yeah! Check worth $18,586.13, Mr. Scott. You more money, more hair, more belt guy, you. And more importantly, you get and to come back tomorrow and go show. for more money. He's going to be here in the next show, Scott. Remember, anybody can win and everybody can have fun when we play by what? Majority rules. See you tomorrow. Channel 12 viewers, here's a chance for you at home to win a share of $12,000 from Majority Rules. Find all your $1 bills and play along because you might be a winner. The winning check today was $5,136.13. Four of those numbers have been randomly drawn and placed as the last four digits of today's Burger King Lucky Burger Buck. If your U.S. $1 bill has the last four numbers in the exact same order, you can claim a share of our Lucky Burger Buck $12,000 weekly cash giveaway. And if only the last three digits match, you can exchange your dollar bill for a combo meal from Burger King. Now, the food awards must be claimed within 24 hours, and don't worry, that letter at the end of your serial number, it doesn't matter. Just bring your lucky dollar bill to any participating Burger King restaurant in the Channel 12 viewing area to learn how to use your dollar to claim your share of $12,000. On our next show, we'll broadcast a brand new set of Lucky Burger Buck numbers, so get down to Burger King for all the rules, and keep watching Majority Rules, where it pays to play at home.
important to america's families taxes i don't mind